Hey Beetlejuice, how you doing? Hi folks, how you all doing? It is Halloween's Eve. At least it is when I'm taping this. This is a pumpkin I grew. And I'm going to carve the shit out of this thing. Because it's, you know, Halloween thing to do. Now, most people I know act like pumpkin carving is some sort of fucking science or something. Like it's real hard to do. That's why I'm making this video, really. To show people, particularly my mother, how to carve a pumpkin. It's really not that hard, people. First of all, I need to get some carving utensils. I got them in the shed. I'll be right back. All right, people, just watch this pumpkin. Get right back where it was. Eat some carving. Hey, you. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Hey, 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 hey. hey. You failed me, people, just failed me. Get back here, my pumpkin. Howdy folks, and happy Spocktober. Welcome to my humble abide. But yeah, I'm trying to enjoy Halloween by calling it Spocktober instead. And, well, I can certainly go for a drink. Figure at my age, if I drink the way I used to, I'll die. I could go for a tea or something. Oh my shit, look who it is. It's my favorite Kristen of the five. Don't tell any of your brothers that. I don't want them to get jealous. I know you're right over there. Sorry, I, I love you all. Really, you're all great. But Crispin number five always brings me tea. Just random. I'll just say it. He just pops up. There he is. He oh, yeah. You're really being kind. You think I'm under stress, Crispin? Well, look at that beauty. It smells nice, Crispin. But one difference. I need some boiling water to, uh, to uh, dip it in. Any chance you could, uh, rustle some of that up, Chris, me? Because I know that, uh, you're... Where the fuck do you go? What the hell? Hey, he's over at the stove. I didn't, I didn't think you were actually gonna do it, Chris, but okay. What a nice guy. I live in the state of Maine, USA. And in the state of Maine, well, you can go to these little stores and buy this kind of thing. Recreational marijuana, folks. They all have different cutesy little names, too. This one is called... GMO Smalls. It's called Smalls. They've had cooler names. One was called Rocky Dennis. Yeah, that's what they called the weed. I had to buy it just because of that. It didn't change the size of my head or anything. It's already pretty big as is. But I wanted to try some of this on camera since I'm not breaking any laws. Anyhow, I'm using this grinder that I've owned since before the time of recreational legalization. To grind it. Chris, hurry up with that damn tea. You need help climbing the stove? I ain't gonna help you. Don't give me that look. So I'll just pack a little bit of weed in there like I would normally do. All ground up. And legally in Maine, you can grow up to two bushes of your own weed, which I've done before. Happy Spock Dover, Spock. I don't think Spock smokes weed. That's recreational weed, folks. I've wanted to open this for a while now. As a fan of Vincent Price, I was really excited when I saw this sitting on a shelf at Target. And I'm going to open it up on camera. Because, yeah, I'm doing an unboxing. I know, they're stupid, they're lazy, I agree. I've always felt that way about unboxing videos. It's just so lazy. Like, anybody can't do that. Unbox something. Oh my god, I'm a genius! Give me a million views for that one, please. Yeah, and then look at this amazing move I'm doing. Oh! Look at that, folks. I'll try and get a close-up of that shit. Well, there he is. Let's see if we can... Hey, he's got a little kitty. He's got his own personal skull. An extra hand. Give the man a hand. 
dead on the kitty maybe? No, ain't gonna stick. Right and Vincent himself smoking a cigarette. Because, you know, it was the old days. Hell, people still do it now. I'm gonna have to say. The box. Vincent is out of the box. And I think that tea's ready, Crispin. Damn it. You're just gonna stare at it. Oh, you like that sound? Damn it, Crispin. Well, I am impressed. Easy now. Eat very good. Ooh, look at that steaming. Really? There we go. Nice tea from the Crispins, I tell you. They make a huge mess. It's still this steaming water all over the stove right now. Everywhere. I, don't, I won't even, I don't have time to go over there and clean it up right now. I couldn't be more. Oh, here you are, buddy. Yeah, I do like it. I had to climb the highest tree in tranquility just to get that tea. It's the best. Of the best of the best of the best of the best of the best. Best of the best, really? Well, I'll take your word for that, Crispin. I'll take your word for that. Never actually been a tranquility. Sounds like a great place that I would never want to leave. Don't know why you left. Curiosity, curiosity killed the Crispin. You're dark, Crispin, you're dark. Your curiosity led you into the real world. That was very dumb of you. But this tea is amazing. I'm glad you brought it with you. The next toy I'm gonna open is something I wanted to open for a while now. And since the passing of Benji Gregory, I definitely want to open it in honor of Benji Gregory. I know you're like, who the hell is Benji Gregory? Well, I'm gonna tell you who Benji Gregory is. He played the son on a little known show from the 1980s that I used to love to watch called Alf. Oh, Alf. You remember Alf, Crispin, a little before your time, I know. But Alf is a great show. Anyway, they made this excellent looking action figure. It comes with all sorts of shit. And uh, I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna unbox it like a loser making a lazy ass unboxing video. I'm gonna unbox Alf and I'll let Crispin watch. How do you, how do you like that shit, Crispin? It's okay, I guess. Okay, you guess? What else would you be doing right now, Crispin? Hmm, I can think of one thing. What would that be? Making, making me more tea? Making me more delicious tea? No. What then? Watching the greatest movie ever made. Oh, well that's easy. My name is Nobody. My name is who, buddy? You never heard of that? I guess, I guess not. What's the greatest movie ever made? Remo Williams, The Adventure Begins! It's, it's okay. It's a good movie. I like that Statue of Liberty shit. Well, that was an adventure, Crispin, but we got all the pieces out. Including Alf. That's what he looks like out of the box, folks. It's actually a pretty decent figure. All this stuff is. Well made. I gave it a, the highest rating I would give an Alf figure. I still love the cat sandwich. Look at that. Cat. Aw. Oh, Alf wants to eat a cat. Isn't that adorable? I want to eat your cat, Willie. That's what it would look like, Willie. If I was about to eat your cat. But yeah, that's it, folks. That's the Alf figure. It's very good. I highly recommend it if you're into this. With his little can of Fusco. Bowl of popcorn. Picture frame of himself. Radio to communicate to his people with if he can ever get a hold of him so they're not all dead. A bag of weed, I guess. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not. His sunglasses. I put him on, but I know he's going to topple over as soon as I do. Same with... Fuck it. You know? Put the shirt and the sunglasses on him. Put Alf next to Vincent Price. We're buddies! The old Vince and I. We go way back. I'm old, remember. Older than him, actually. Alf meets Vincent Price. I never signed on for any of this shit. Get this smelly alien away from me. Sorry, Vincent. I know how you don't like that. Hey, Vincent, do you like cat sandwich by any chance? Get that fucking thing out of here. Sorry, Vincent. Jeepers. Didn't know you liked the F word that much. All right, folks. This has been the unboxing of Alf, Vincent Price, and me smoking recreational weed to celebrate Spocktober. And again, Crispin. Yeah, buddy, oh, buddy, oh, pal. Buddy. You gotta calm down, Crispin. What is in this tea? All the joys of the earth. Enjoy it, farmer spaghetti, because it's very rare that I'll just give out tea to any random Joe Blow. 
Now that I'm in the real world, I'm a little cocky, Kristen, aren't I? You are a bit cocky sometimes, number five. But that's what I like about you. You like to brag about how you find the best teas in the world, how you can just disappear at the wink of an eye. What the hell did you go? He's a sneaky little one, that bastard. Where'd you go, Kristen? Thanks for the tea again, buddy. Weirdo. Adios for now, folks. I'm gonna go try to enjoy the rest of my Spocktober. Well, howdy again, folks. Pumpkin carving time. My very own pumpkin, I'm gonna carve it. There it is, all done folks. Now let's turn the lights off and see how the hell it looks. Turn them all off now. Ooh. We're here for your daughter, Chuck. And that is why I won't do two shows a night. I won't, I just won't. I won't do it, I won't. That's Beetlejuice Pumpkin. Now let's spin it around and see if the Deets House came out of right. Ooh, kind of neat actually, not huh? too bad. Well, not too bad, huh? Pretty neat. Well, I'll give myself some credit. It came out better than I thought it would. I made it look easy. Patience. Patience is a virtue. That's probably in the Bible or something, right? Well, that's it, folks, for my pumpkin carving adventure. I got the pumpkin carved, and that's all that matters. I got my own pumpkin. I grew it. I carved it. My own Beetlejuice pumpkin. Yes, it's going to rot away, and I'm just going to have to throw it out. But, oh well, it'll become compost for future pumpkins. Good night, and happy Halloween. I know it's over and all, but I don't really care. It's close enough. I'm a busy guy. I have plates to wash. Bye, everyone. Good night. Hope you enjoy the Beetlejuice pumpkin extravagance. I like it. Well, I'll bet you credits to navy beans we can put a dent in it. Try the wine. The titty! She's just like a science fiction, that's what she is. A regular Ray Bradbury. Because she got a great ass. And you got your head all the way up it. When I think of asses, woman's ass, something comes out of me.